Hey, what's going on guys? Rock here and I'm going to do a video to show you my classes and how they are set up. Um, we'll start off with please, which is usually dedicated to my, uh, probably my favorite assault rifle in the entire game, the TAR-21. And uh, it's almost always got a silencer on it. And I got the AA-12 is my secondary. Usually run Scavenger, Stop and Power Ninja, and uh, I'll sometimes change my equipment up depending on what game mode I'm playing. If I go free for all or team death match, sometimes I'll put on a Claymore, but usually I go Simtex. Uh, my next class looks like I'm actually set up for some search and destroy right now. Uh, these three classes, yep, these three classes right here are usually what I change for search and destroy. Um, I've become a little bit complacent in what I use in search and destroy now. I, I kind of just stick with the UMP. Uh, it's it's a pretty damn good weapon for search and destroy. My uh, first class is probably the one I use the most. It's a silenced UMP and uh, the Akimbo Rangers is my secondary which I think is probably one of the best search and destroy secondaries. Um, I find myself using them more than anything. I uh, go with Marathon, Hardline, and Ninja. And uh, I really like using Hardline when I play Search and Destroy because it's pretty nice not to have to get the full kills to get your kill streaks. It's nice to be able to get a, a UAV and only two kills in Search and Destroy. And um, my equipment, I do have on the Throwing Knife. I almost always use a Throwing Knife in Search and Destroy because you want to get those cool round winning knife throw kills. Uh, second class, pretty much the same as the first one. The, uh, the only difference here is instead of having Hardline, I've got on Cold Blooded Pro and that's just for really nice laying in the grass, laying in the weeds. If I'm going to try and do a Ninja Diffuse, oftentimes I'll have this class on right here. Um, sometimes I will use a sniper class and put on cold blooded with it just so I can use the ghillie suit but uh, most of the time I just use this this class right here uh, next class pretty much the same as the others except uh, I do have a scar H and I uh, got the marathon pro and I got claymores on this one I'll use this on a map like skid row on defense where I would use something like this on offense. And that is pretty much what I do there. Uh, my next class is whatever assault rifle I am working on trying to get headshots. Uh, right now I'm working on the AK-47. I am up to Red Tiger. Um, got a pretty good ways to go. I'm at 195 of 250. So I've got, what, 55 more headshots to go. But uh, I'll get that done eventually. And it uh, looks like I'm set up for a team deathmatch type game mode right here. Because I've got claymores on. Um, I've really been using the uh, AA-12 with extended mags. This thing is just amazing once you put extended mags on it. Um, I, I really enjoy it because you can just hose down an entire room with this thing. It's pretty nice. Um, oops. My next class, this is my douchebag class. If somebody hits me with noob tubes, one man army, danger close, you can bet your sweet ass I'm going to be switching to this class right here. And I'm going to give it right back to them. And uh, I'm actually using the AK-47 with the grenade launcher, uh, mainly because you can actually get headshots with the noob tube sometime. And uh, that's really the only reason I'm using this. Uh, normally, if I'm using a grenade launcher, I'm definitely going to be using it on a SCAR uh, because you don't need the stopping power on a SCAR to be effective. The AK-47, it actually takes a few more bullets to kill with it. Uh, using the danger close, but uh, I mainly use this one to tube the hell out of somebody if they're tubing me first. Uh, my next class is usually going to be a sniper class, whatever I'm working on at the time, which uh, I'm actually finished with the intervention, and uh, 
I'm trying to get fall camo on the Barrett, and you can see I'm only up to blue tiger here. Um, let's see where I'm at. Uh, 125 of 150, so I'm fairly close to red tiger. And uh, you can see I don't snipe much. I really don't. I just don't feel very confident sniping. I mean, I do okay, but uh, not the best sniper out there. My next class, this I change up from time to time. It can be usually just anything. Right now, I actually have a silenced Uzi on it and the Spaz 12 with a grip. And this is just kind of my run around and have fun class. Uh, do pretty much whatever with it. And a uh, marathon with a silenced Uzi can be a lot of fun. The next class, this is my anti-aircraft class, which every good player should have one class devoted to taking down air support. And uh, I go with the Scar H silenced because I got cold-blooded and the Stinger, which that's what you want to take down the air support. And I always use Scavenger, that way... Uh, you can resupply your Stinger if you got to take down multiple uh, aircraft, and it's really good to actually run around and get kills with after you've taken down the air support. And my final class, this is a class I use for demolition. It is uh, my infiltration class for offense. Uh, it's really nice to use tactical insertion. Like, say we're on derail and we're attacking and I get killed, I don't want to have to run that entire length of the map again. Um, I also use this on estate. I will oftentimes try to get behind the house at A, and I'll put my tactical insertion over behind... Well, I'm not going to tell you exactly where I put it, because then you might know where I'm at and come find me when I reinsert. But <laughs> that is what I use this for. If I'm not playing uh, Demolition, oftentimes I'll leave this class exactly like it is and swap out tactical insertion for a Claymore. Because even, you know, just as a standalone class, it is pretty darn good. Um, take a quick look at all my titles. You can see I'm missing some. Um, you know, I'm playing this game straight up legit. I have not, you know, done any hack lobbies or anything that unlocks everything, gives you everything. So I'm still earning it all. But these are all my titles. Kind of quickly go through them. You can always go back. You see, I got a lot missing right there. And uh, you can probably go back there. I have the TAR 21 and ACR. Those are the only two weapons, gold titles I have, because those are my two most used weapons. Uh, emblems. See how we're running on time here. Looks like I'm doing all right. All my emblems. Probably my favorite is that one. And that one. And once again, all those. Um, looks like I got 579 set up on my kill streaks right now. Um, accolades. Somebody mentioned accolades. These are all my accolades. Uh, probably the one I have the most of would be the feared. Looks like I got 1,406 of them. That is for getting the most kills but you can kind of see what a lot of them are. See, supernatural kill death ratio over 10. I only have 152 of those, so I'm not some fantastic beast player. Um, I do have 1168 highest kill death ratios. That's not bad. Top gun airstrikes, 1300. Oh, I'd like to kill them from behind a lot. Um, I do have at least one of every accolade now. Um, a lot of them I have around six, seven hundred, looks like. Um, oops, keep going too far. Uh, here we get into the weapons accolades. Uh, not many pistol kills. Not very many C4 kills in a game. Um, AR specialist. I use assault rifles a lot, so I get quite a few of those. Um, my hair trigger, most aim down sights. I aim down my sights quite often. And right here, that is one of the hardest accolades to get. Warming up. You basically have to do nothing. So it's actually very hard to get. <laughs> I only have three of them. 
But that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Be sure to rate the video if you liked it. And uh, my classes are ever-changing, so this is not set in stone. But this is just what they are set at right now. I hope you guys enjoyed it. We'll see you guys again really soon. You guys have a good one.